Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This is a fish and dive show made just for you. So, if you want to be part of the On Fire Fishing family, just hit that like and subscribe button. On this episode, we are going to have an awesome show. It is my wife and my son and my dog's birthday month. So, we're having a combined birthday party, and I'm going to make my world famous popcorn taco for you guys this is a deep fried octopus and it's gonna be delicious i'm gonna show you how to make it so make sure you guys stick all the way to the end and catch the super fun catch and cook all right guys let's go holo holo It's another beautiful day in Hawaii, ne? Launch out of here up here, Kaneohe, Hawaii. But on the inside, it was nice and calm below. <laughs> Check this out. Once I got outside, it was windy. Oh my goodness, man. I was just getting splashed. I was wet before I got in the water. <laughs> right here, it's so rough. I'm like, okay, let's get in before I get seasick. <laughs> At least the water clean. Nope. <laughs> Guess not. All right, let's go find some taco. Okay, as you can see, I'm just swimming around, swimming around, looking for holes, and I'm looking for any kind of pushed out rocks, any kind of odd shaped rocks or mishmash colored rocks. As you can see, this one is very obvious. A lot of white rocks all pushed out, but somebody already got that one. So, what's a good? That's actually a good sign. So. I'll just keep circling around the area, see if we can find any more holes. And boom, check this big hole out. Some kind of, sometimes this area holds big taco, but it won't have any rocks. They'll just find holes in a reef and just kind of sink right down. So I was like, ooh, all right, got a good spot. Let me just keep circling around. Oh, here we go. Look at this textbook. This kind you can't even miss. You see all that green carpet and all that white thrown out rocks. All right, let me go see if anybody's home. Nope, empty. Ay. So because I already found like two, three, four empty holes, I'm like, I got excited at first, but afterwards I'm like, hey, these holes right here, you see the brightly colored rocks? You know, that's really freshly dug out. Because of that, I know somebody else already hit this spot. So it's time to move, man. You know, cut your losses and maybe try a different spot. So, all right, guys, let's move spot. All right, this is what I call the uglies. <laughs> when it's when it's really nice and people already hit the good spots, you just gotta go someplace sometimes to the real ugly spots like this. You know, it's kind of reefy. It's not as easy to find them because this reef kind of style, they just make a hole and just sit in it. You might not see the rocks or you might not see pushed out sand you might just have to just look for the taco or any little sign that they might be there see this is a good example that hole right there he just sank right inside if he was there okay that's not a taco hole but let's go let me see thumbs up he found them all right let me see if you see anything unusual here this is how i found this one you guys got them boom son you guys see that you see that weird looking white long rock that's all i saw i didn't see the hole i still can't see the hole but watch when i drop down to inspect that little rock i'm like oh there it is you guys see it see the hole now so that little rock tipped me off to this big boy over here that somebody else missed right so that taco probably took that big rock and threw it outside of his hole and that's how i was able to find it all right let's go get this guy Yes, sir. Hurraja. Finally on the board. At least get some taco for tonight. Gotta get some taco for my wife guy's birthday. So here we go. This next spot, you can see all these shells. I like to see when I see all that white kind of pushed out rocks out of shells. I'm like, oh, something just eat there or there's a hole. As you can see, there's a hole right there. So, hey, this spot looks good. We got one. So let's keep checking real good. See if we can find another one.
here we go. Little different style holes. Let me know if you see them. Give you a couple seconds. You guys got them? Thumbs up if you guys got them. Here we go. So all that pushed out sand and stuff. Let's go check it out. Oh yeah. Here it goes. Right on the bottom. Boom. Oh yeah. But you know what? This one looks a little smaller. So you know what? Let them go to let them grow. Hurraja. Peace out, Mr. Taco. See you in a couple pounds bigger. All right. Check this guy. So cool. All right, buddy. Catch you later. Shoots then, brother Joe. All right. Ooh, here we go. You guys see that? So it came up to this one, and I'm like, wow, look at the multiple colored rocks, all kind of piled up in a tight area. So it looks kind of unusual. So I'm like, hey, let's go check it out. So watch when I dive on this. So you can't really see the hole at all. You just see all these weird looking rocks just all piled up. It's like, ah, it looks really suspicious. So boom, right there. Can you guys see the taco? Hard, right? So you can swim right over it. So here, I cleared the hole for you. And look at that monster, man. Super nice. Sorry, let me use my carpet fiber kayak LA spear. Kai's handcrafted spear. Look at that. Boom, get him right out. Yes, sir. So stoked. Yes. Okay, guys. So I was super stoked. Like, I mean, I was like, yes. I got a good size taco. I'm good for the day. You know, so I had the taco in my hat. And then I'm looking around for my float. I'm like, where did it go? I'm like, oh, no. You know what? I got sharked. I guarantee you got sharked because... I looked for my float, I, I didn't see it, and it was right by me. So I was like, oh no, I got shark, but you know, I kept looking up and I, then I saw my float super far away. And I was like, oh my goodness, yeah, probably a shark took it. But no, what happened, I guess my anchor line for my float, the cable broke. And I was like, oh, it's all the way down there. So lucky enough, I was able to swim to it and then catch up with it. And I guess I have a clip on my, um, I guess my tag line and uh thank goodness that thing caught a rock and was able to just hold my uh float in place that way i didn't go have to chase it with the boat or anything so thank goodness i guess you know karma goes both ways right so i guess letting go of that other one really paid off <laughs> all right ho oh, what's up brother turtle hey you seen the taco was this way or the other way what behind me Okay, shoes ten. Hey, thanks, sir, brother turtle. Shoes ten, Joe. Bro, I think that talk. I think that. I think that turtle lying to me, bro. I don't see nothing over here. What? I heard that. Nah, nah, just joking, bro. Okay, sorry. Shoots somewhere around here. He said, "All right, let's go find him." All right, here we go. Turtle better not be lying to me. Oh yeah, right there. See him. Chee. Hey, thanks, sir. You guys see him? Oh, look at that. So just look at those rocks. You guys see them? See if anybody's home, guys. All right.
coming up next is our delicious catch and cook. Okay, so about this popcorn taco, it's a deep fried octopus bite. It is so delicious. As you guys know, I'm a firefighter here on Oahu, but I actually started my firefighting career on the island of Maui. So, what's up Maui FD? Woo, Pride 22, baby. So, I was actually stationed in a little town called Hana. The, one of the most beautiful places in this world. Trust me, it's amazing. And my captain, Jonathan Preza, was a hammer diver. So, this guy is unbelievable, but he brought some tacos to work. He said, hey guys, I got some taco. And he asked our engineer, Mohoi Perry, which is one of the coolest local Hawaiian guys you ever met. He's like, I got you, Cap. So he tells me, hey, Joe, you ever, you ever had popcorn taco? And I was like, what is that? And he's like, what? You never had popcorn taco before. So I was like, um, all right, let's make it. <laughs> so he showed me how to make it and it was amazing. It's one of my favorite poo-poo there is. I mean, ah, oh, you're gonna like it. So here it is. <laughs> so we're gonna make some delicious popcorn tacos. So all you do is clean your taco and all you're gonna do is throw some salt on them, give them a good rub, get the slime off, tenderize it, throw it in an Insta Pot for seven minutes. That's all you need. I add one tea bag, one beer, and that's all the ingredients. Super simple. And that's all the liquid you need right there. Mm. All right, easy peasy. Let's put a meat and stew, put it to seven minutes, and let the magic happen. Oh yeah. And when it's done, just manual pressure release. Oh yeah, look at that, perfect. Ooh yeah. Oh, you just take it from there, throw it in a nice ice bath, and the thing will be cherry. That way it stops the cooking process and be ready to be cut up. Oh yeah, look at the color in that thing. Man! All right, look at that. We have an absolutely beautifully cooked taco. Damn. So what I'm gonna do is just Cut this by legs, and I'm gonna just try to make it into bite-sized pieces. All right, and oh, all right, guys. So since we don't wear any plastic bags anymore, right? Which is good, cause hey, we got paper bags, which is good, good for panic. But you know what? This is actually perfect because. We're gonna take our taco, we're gonna take our taco, and we're gonna toss it into this bag with some seasoned cornstarch. So I'm gonna put some cornstarch into the bag, sprinkle some garlic salt in there, throw them all together, give it a good shake, and boom, we are ready for the fryer. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, just like that, look how easy. It came out perfect every time. All right, there you go. All right, since I'm frying tacos, I might as well fry some lumpias, huh? <laughs> My wife's birthday in the Filipino, so. You know what I mean? Ooh, psst. You like some? Maserap, yo. Ooh. All right, look at this. So we have all our taco all cut up and chunked and floured. And you see how they're not sticking together? So this is perfect. That way you can just take this, drop it in the hot oil and mm. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm. Lick your screen. Oh, that's right. Oh, it... Forgot about the smoke tri-tip. Let's go oh, check on that. Yeah. All right, here we go. Real wood fire. Smoke oh. for hours. And mm. yeah. yes, uh, it's like a tip of a brisket right here. Smoke so delicious. Money. All right, here we go. Check out these grill marks. Oh, look at that, son. Yee. Oh, yes. You know it. Stay with me. Lick your screen. Hello. Hey. What's up, what's up, guys? Hello. Hi. 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 Hi.
Alright. This is smoked. Oh, look at that. I told you. Bam! So reverse here. This is smoked for hours. I wish you guys could smell this right now. <laughs> it's ridiculous. That looks good. Look at Alright, here we go. Is that fish? No, no. This is all steak. This is like smoked try tip. I want to try it. It's gonna broke your mouth, son. I want to try it now. Like, you see the smoke ring? Yeah. Smoke ring. Oh yeah! Hi! Happy birthday, bro! Thank you! Woo! Happy birthday! Babe, oh look at that! Oh! Came with it, look at that! Hey, try some of the steak that... I want this, sorry. Hey, we smoked this together. Try some of this, son. Oh! Smoked! Good, huh? Yeah! Alright guys, you guys ready? All right, here we go. Try some popcorn taco right there. Woo! Everybody grab a piece. Don't be shy. It smells good. How you guys like it? It's good. Woo! You guys like it? Mm -hmm. All right. Good. Woo! The taco? <laughs> All right, you guys. Here you go. Woo! Popcorn taco. Let me grab a piece. Here we go. Mmm. Lick your screen. Mmm. <laughs> so good. This is delicious, man. Crispy, crunchy, soft in the middle. Mmm. Tomoko chan. Hi. Nongo ni taco no karege wa arimasu ka? Arimasu. Honto? Yes. Cut. 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 Okay. So, okay, what happened here was, um, I asked Tomoko off camera, hey, in Japan, do they uh, have any popcorn taco? And she tells me, nine, no more, no more in Japan. And then I ask her again on camera in Japanese, and she goes, oh, yeah, get, get, get taco, get deep fried taco in Japan. I was like, oh my God. So I cut. <laughs> but um, what it was was, uh, we explained later, uh, she explained later that. In Japan, I guess it's very not common to have deep fried taco because it's expensive. So they basically don't have it unless if you go to a really nice restaurant and then they'll have it in a really nice plate as like a poo poo or something. Other than that, it'll just be like the ika, deep fried ika, like the, the tentacles, right? But, <laughs> but that's so funny. He's like, you get this in Japan? Nope. I ask in Japanese, you have this in Japan? Yes. <laughs> so I guess they do have it in Japan, but only at Fancy restaurants. <laughs> oh my god. 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 Oh Oh Oh, Alright guys, also made this is a braised beef rib. Otherwise known as cow bee here in Hawaii. <laughs> Just use that pre-made sauce and seven minutes in the pot, man. That's the magic number for everything. Watch this. Fall apart tender. <laughs> Woo! Man! Yeah, 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 yeah! Mmm. A brisket, yeah. It's actually a brisket. See a smoke ring around, the nice pink ring with the little fat cap that I trimmed and bam. Mmm. So good. I wish you guys was here. Hey, if you guys want to come over for dinner, all you gotta do is live in Oahu and uh bring beer. <laughs> nah, but 
If I know you, maybe. <laughs> but hey, thanks for joining me, though. Mmm, look at that. Oh, look at you. Oh, happy. Hey, mahalo guys. Thank you guys for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell notification. Why? Because that way you can catch my all my awesome catches and cooks. Every Sunday at 6, I drop a new one. So make sure you guys check that out. All right. Until next time, make sure you guys take care of yourselves and take care of others. Catch you on the next one. Aloha. Hi, babe. Happy birthday. Friday mismatch glasses. But you know it's real. All right. All right. You guys can grab. You got to tell us when. Hello. Okay. Somebody's new on Instagram. Ready, set, go. Pull. Oh, yeah, oh, oh my god! Give me a hold of baby. Okay, cut, cut. <laughs> We're gonna do it for real. <laughs> Holy smoke. And you know what? They didn't even drink anything yet. Ready, set, go. Oh, that was so much There. Alright, cheers, you guys. Alright, happy birthday, Nari. Happy birthday. Happy birthday!